again, Lara. I need Thor's belt to get his hammer, and I need the hammer to kill a god. Greetings and welcome back to some more Tomb Raider Underworld, and we are going on to um, another one of Amanda's ships. Zip did tell us the name of it at one point. Oh well, it's raining, so that gives it a little bit uh, of a distinction from the previous one, where it was all nice and sunny. Oh, but we have Thor's hammer now. Press the R1 to swing or hold L1 and press to smash. <laughs> Wait, how did you get back up from that? You're not getting back up from that. Okay, good. Well, if this is anything like the last one, I look forward to running around like a headless chicken for half an hour. I suppose we should check up here. For oh, no, we came from up here, didn't we? Oh, no, that's the thing is we came out of when the boat sank. Well, not this one, obviously. The other one. I did here, but oh gosh, I'm, I'm actually, oh gosh, I am, oh dear, oh no, oh no. Do I not have any, why do, why do I not have any health packs? Why do I not have any health packs? I remember to bring Thor's hammer, but I didn't bring a health pack. Superman in disguise? What? Wait, <laughs> right, there's that guy up there. Yeah, I think that might be then. Um, oh, this door looks locked as well. Oh, oh, up onto the cargo crates, of course. Yeah, this is very satisfying. Hi. <laughs> oh. Right now, where were we going? Got oh, completely lost. We were down the oh, and then down those steps as well. Oh, hi guys.
Can't help but notice something that we don't have any bad guys to fight. Well, I me oh there's one. Oh there's two. This is pretty cool actually, I mean it's something that our um, core design never really got, what allowed us to do was play with the toys uh, that, that Lara got, um, but you know, we had Excalibur and then we've got Thor's hammer, it's pretty cool. This cutscene, I mean, I mean the first time I saw it I just thought, my god, this is getting pretty intense. I'm sure you've realized that I want to get to Avalon just as much as you do. But neither of us can go alone. You need my ritual, and I need your hammer. If, no, when you step out of line, you'll get it. Stop! You destroyed my home. You killed Alistair! I got it. Isn't that all we care about? That's an interesting line that there, isn't that all we care about? Not all I care about, all we care about. I mean, I think Amanda is basically Lara. If Lara didn't have a line, she wouldn't cross. Oof. I think it's just that scream she lets out as she smashes the glass. I mean, she pissed. Meet me there. Well, there we have it. It's a very short level. I mean, really, it's just about having fun with Thor's hammer and then, you know, letting Natla free. But yeah, like, man, that scene, like, the. I mean, it's 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 different eras and it's different st methods of storytelling, but you know, you really just feel like there could have been some really great story and character beats for Lara and the classic games that just aren't exploited or aren't exploited as well as they could have. Whereas Crystal Dynamics were just like, nah, we're going to go super intense with Lara as often as we can, and obviously they 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 cranked it up even more for the reboot series. Um, but yeah, I mean that that scene i mean the whole thing is basically just about that scene I, I don't know maybe they could have just uh well maybe they, i mean the game is already quite short i was going to say they couldn't have just done like sort of jump straight to the cutscene or had an extended cutscene where we see lara oh but you want to have fun with the hammer as well oh well whatever i mean it's a short level but i suppose i suppose it's justified story wise it's really a story chapter but i do really love that that cutscene i mean it, it is it's pretty into. I mean, it, it pales in comparison to some of the things that we do see in the reboot series. You know, like I mean, especially Shadow. I think Shadow goes places, but um, uh, um, compared compared to what we had so far, I think the only other thing that would compete for it in terms of intensity is, is when um, uh, Lara's shooting at Amanda at the end of Legend, um, but yeah, just that's you, you really sort of just get that sense that Lara's just pissed off and she's at the end of her tether and one of her friends is dead and her home's been destroyed and you know I mean it's not just bricks and mortar it's it's you know like it's the connection to her family history to her parents um you know these kind of old buildings are not just 
homes they're in some ways they're museums as well and also you know like when you're climbing up i'm sure the game does when croft manor's on fire does deliberately have you climb up the fireplace so that you do see the the, the painting of lara's parents that you know was highlighted to us in legend uh, is on fire and being destroyed um so she she's probably in a a, a bit of a, a a dark place by this point <laughs> Um, and she's just at the end of her tether and you know like that that bit when she's like you can die too and she's trying to kill the the doppelganger and and then uh, Natla just sort of winds her up and then she smashes the glass and lets out that cry she does I mean oof. in terms of just pure intensity it probably is one of my favorite favorite Lara moments so um, when we come back, the Arctic Sea, and uh, we're going into the final level. It seems to have zoomed by quite quickly. It's not a long game, but when the camera isn't screwing you over, it's a fun one. <laughs> <laughs> 